So looking at a lot of different websites, um, everybody says bring water, bring water. We did a little experimenting. I brought a 10 liter bottle of water. I brought water in a reusable container and I brought water in a small bottle. Now these have all been sitting in my trunk for a while. As you can see, they're frozen. A little bit of melting in there, but for the most part, that's gonna be really hard to get that water out. I'm gonna recommend the small bottles because they can easily be cut open and then melted in the container, which we're gonna show you in a moment, heating it over our candle. Okay, small bottles, easier to get open. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt water. Um, my water bottle is a little bit melted, just being inside the car has helped quite a bit. So what I'm going to do, see, I just kept that over top of the pan. Um, if you only fill the bottle up about three quarters of the way, um, the freezing water won't uh, spurt out on you. But these are fresh bottles, so I'm going to get some of the water out here. There we go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my knife. And again, uh, important to cut away from you. You don't want to injure yourself while you're surviving. And I find these bottles are just really easy to cut open and then peel back. Okay, and now it's, let's get rid of the garbage there. Now it's uh, easy to have in the pan. I'm just gonna close that up um, for melting. Now, you can carry an oven mitt with you if you want, but it takes up a lot of space. I have pliers as part of my standard tool kit. So I'm going to use the pliers to grab the edge of the pan and hold over top of the candle. It's a good thing you're really stuck because this is going to take some time. As you can see, it's taken quite a bit of time. Still got a little bit of ice in there, but our water has actually melted by candle.